In this video, we're going to focus on how we can change the bar thickness based on the data point, giving every individual bar a unique thickness in ChartJS 4. So to do this, the first thing what you need is make sure you have the boiler template, which you can find here on ChartJS3.com getting started. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page and of course join the Discord channel for any questions. <coughs> so let's start to work on it. So the first thing what we need to do is, well, we have to understand a few options here and you will see that these options will not work unless we, but we can combine these all together later on. So let me just show you first. There are like a few ways to reduce the thickness of the bar but it will be applied on every one of them. So which is the bar percentage, which by default is 0 0.8, if I'm not mistaken, or 0 0.9. And we have the category percentage. And the category percentage is 0 0.8 by default. So what will happen is basically, the category percentage calculates how many percentage from this part to here, basically this segment, is being utilized to draw the bar and then the bar percentage will calculate within that category or within that margin what it has how many percentage of that so basically if I would say here this will be only 0 0.5 right now it will use from this point to here only 50% as you can see here if I extend this to 1 it will use the full item and if I make this all 1 this will cover the full spectrum all right so you might say then can we change this with an array well the answer is no we're not allowed to use an array in here it's just and that's a pity but if that would be the case it would solve the problem luckily there are ways that will work and will not impact this even if you would use this it will recalculate with that and that is very nice so let's start to work on doing that so go and say your comma go and say your plugins and then going to make here what we can call our bar thickness. Let's copy this. Then I'm going to say a constant bar thickness equals, and the ID will be named bar thickness. And then we say here before data sets draw. This is important because before we draw the bar, we need to recalculate the thickness of each individual bar. So chart, arcs, and plugins options. Then I'm going to say here an object destructuring. And the object is from each row equal to chart. And what we need in here is the CTX. And I need the data. And the data is because I want to loop through this data here. And then I want to make sure that we get the highest one. But also we make everything relative in thickness based on the data. And if this by default is 18, you will see we have like this. That should be, that's my standard item. However, later on I have to change this. You will, or we will test some, you will understand why. Anyway, what we're going to do now, the first thing what I want to do is I want to extract the highest value out of my array of data points here. This is why we have the data, so we have a very easy way to do it. So I say constant max equals math.max. So I'm going to use this default option here that extracts the highest value from an array, but we need to make sure we have the rest operator. So we copy the array and then you say data dot data sets index zero dot data very straightforward here once we did that i can say here console log max save refresh all right so now we get here the highest value which is 18 all right so the next thing what i want to do here now is i want to get basically uh, the bar width and luckily we can access this and let me just access this here we say here chart get data set meta and the data set meta, we'll say here, data set index zero. And then we say here the data, and we say here data point zero. Once we do this, we get the bar element of each, but I'm going to get it now from zero. But later on, we need to be more flexible. Oh, but I'll explain it later on. If I scroll down here, you can see here the width and the width to be exact right now is 96 plus plus. All right. So what I'm going to do is here, say here dot width the width there we are so what i can say here constant equals the width constant equals bar width will be equal to the width here 
However, what I need to do is I need to make sure that this width will have a flexible index number here. And the reason why is right now we have the highest value at the very beginning. But if we have the highest value somewhere else, this will be all the time recalculated and we'll get a weird effect which is unwanted. So what I need to do here is whatever is the max value, tell me in which index number that is located, if it's index zero or if anything else, if ever. So what I'm gonna do here, constant, and I'll just say here constant index number, and this is just basic JavaScript, and we're going to say here, we're going to grab this. And then we say here, uh, dot index of and give me the max value wherever the index number is that one here will then put in here save there we are all right so i guess this is all fine you will not notice anything but we can probably see here now what is the index number save now it's index zero if i change this to nine save refresh it's index one or this one, but it doesn't matter. They're both the highest. So one of them is fine. We don't have to make any distinction between those two. So now what we want to do is we want to loop through this data. So we say chart dot get data set meta index zero dot data. And then we say a dot for each. So we can do a for each loop. Let me say for every data point, I want to have the index and then we have a function or expression because we have a callback functionality. So now what I want to do is I want to recalculate the width here. So we have this here and what we want to do is to recalculate is we're making sure that it's whatever is the bar width divide by the maximum value and then multiplied by whatever the value is of our data. So what I'm going to do here is constant new bar width or new width will be equal to our bar width divide by the amount of max and then multiply by um, let's see here our value so that will mean I need to get here this and then here the index that we're looping through so once we have that calculated let's see if we get a relative number or a changing number let's save that refresh and you can see here we get all these different values here beautiful so let's start to test if this all works so what i want to do now is we're going to say here data point dot width which is basically the shorthand for the width here since we have the for each loop and then we're going to say this will be equal to the new width and let's remove this save refresh all right and as you can see here this starts to look quite nice and of course we can change that by saying let's put this back to its original i think 0 0.9 and this 0 0.8 save that there you are that looks quite good we can even change this if you make this five it will make this smaller and it will recalculate all and if we just hide that it will not interfere with our issue and it will just does what it always does so now what I want to do is if I do this on 18 again or 19, let's make this the highest. You will see the things will change and this will be the thickest and everything else will be proportional to that. Of course, you can play around with that by uh, changing, giving it a standard thickness. And then from there on, whatever is the remaining pixels, you can calculate that. But you can play around with that as well. Quite straightforward. And this is it.